Good morning, everyone. Respected principal, honorable guest, and my dear teachers and friends. Myself is Gagandeep Jain of 6th Standard. Jain Vigajanuru, Shomoga. Friends, first of all, I would like to dedicate my speech to all the orphans and the child laborers across the world. Friends, as you all know, the Children's Day is being celebrated on 14th November every year. It is celebrated on the mark of the birthday of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India. Nehru was a great freedom fighter, scholar, philosopher and above all a great visionary of India. The Jain dams and the industries were built during his tenure. Though Nehru preached the secularism and he never hesitated to call India as Hindustan. Friends, Nehru had a great love and affection towards the children. The company of the children was everything for him. Children would call him as Chacha. As a token of love towards the children, he called the nation to celebrate his birthday as Children's Day every year. Friends, on this joyful day, we can sing, dance, play and enjoy our moments. Friends, our teachers organize culture programs and sports for all of us. On the event of Children's Day, our teachers also sing and dance with us for our enjoyment. But friends, in these days, the Children's Day is only restricted to the schools and colleges. There are thousands of children who are toiling very hard for square of meals. Many children are wandering in the streets as beggars and orphans. Some of them are living very pathetically in the streets. Many children are suffering from malnutrition and many other diseases. A number of children are not going to the schools as they are feeding their families. Some of them have become the sole breadwinner of their families. The children who are supposed to spend their time in schools and in games are now being forced to work in hotels, garage and garments, etc. Friends. So, I being a child and a future citizen of this nation, urge the government to take care of every single child. I request the government to ensure that every single child must not be away from the schools. Abuse of children must be stopped. Children are like God. They must not be suffer from hunger and malnutrition. Children should be fed well. As their future and pillar of this nation. Stating these things, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you and endure for having given me an opportunity to deliver my speech before you all. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat Mata.